Now, Martin Stead is once again the toast of army boxing after taking his third successive English ABA title at the national finals on Friday night. John Knighton has the story. At the York Hall in Bethnal Green, he was up against Gary Ray from the East Durham Club, who he beat in 2008 to win his first title. After a cagey first round, Stead used all his experience to pick away at his opponent in what turned out to be a low-scoring contest. But that didn't worry him in the slightest. At the end, he was the clear winner by seven points to three. I thought I won by a few points. Uh, I was uh, Going into the last round, I was free up. And uh, he didn't score a point in the last round. Oh, yeah, I'm over the moon. Not such good news for the other three army fighters. At flyweight, sapper Adam Whitfield came out second best against Paul Butler from the Wirral. Butler scored with a succession of good jabs, which Whitfield couldn't counter. At bantamweight, defending champion Corporal James Allen was up against 19-year-old James Dickens from Salisbury. Allen improved in the second round, but the youngster was given a huge margin of victory, 17-4, by the judges, which left many scratching their heads. And there was worse to come for heavyweight Emmanuel Izarante from Four Rifles in his contest against Danny Price from the Westway Club. Price danced his way around the ring and, according to the judges, denied Izarante a single scoring punch in the whole contest. The result was 8-0. John Knighton, Forces News. The annual Bruggen 10 road race took place this weekend, and there was also another race running parallel with it at Camp Bastion. First to Germany and Rob Olver. It used to be Royal Air Force Bruggen's big race, and then the army moved in eight years ago and kept it. But as Britain's military presence in Germany has reduced, so too have Bruggen 10 entries, down from 1,500 at its height to 460 now. With the British forces preparing to pull out of this part of Germany in the next few years, there had been talk that this might be the last Bruggen 10. The organisers, though, say that's definitely not the case. Seven and sixteen signal regiments hope to continue the Bruggen 10 in Stafford when they move there in 2015. This year, an Australian army dentist on a job exchange finished first in 51 minutes, 40 seconds, well outside the 49-minute course record. And top woman of the race was army team runner Kelly Hanover. Plans for next year have already begun. Rob Olver, Forces News, Elmt, Germany. 5.30 a.m. and well over 400 competitors set off for a 10-mile slog through Camp Bastion in the Afghan version of the Bruggen 10. The event's been organised here by 16 Signal Regiment, who are usually based in Elmt as a way of linking themselves back to Germany. Now, as well as here at Camp Bastion and in Germany, the Bruggen 10 is also being run in Lashkagar and Kabul and at some of the forward operating bases, where the guys and girls are doing some 30 laps of the base to make up the distance. The $10 ahead entrance fee is going to charity. This is split down for uh, British Forces Broadcasting Services Big Salute and also some uh, orphanages in the different, sec different sectors in uh, Camp Trujillo. First home in the Bastion race was 2nd Lieutenant Adam Crandall of the US Marine Expeditionary Force in 56 minutes, 16 seconds. It's great to come out and uh, run with all my uh, fellow soldiers and uh, Marines as well. So, and obviously with the Brits. So. Thank you very much. <laughs> the event's raised thousands of dollars for charity and has been a great social occasion for Camp Bastion. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Afghanistan.